This is the sand trap at the four-wheel drive access point to the Fort Fisher State Park. I come down here all the time to surf fish as well as to take my kayak to a remote access point to get at the Cape Fear River. But this sand trap captures vehicles all the time and I'm amazed that people do not come and are prepared to deal with this problem. Yes, a lot of people can air down their tires and that helps, but the sand is loose and airing down the tires isn't going to be enough to get you through here at some point. You need to be able to self-recover your vehicle to be able to continue to move. And I'm going to show you a do-it-yourself solution that is so inexpensive, you'll slap yourself on the forehead for not thinking of it. No, no, there's no reason to have that happen to you. Can you imagine the dirty looks those guys were getting from their passengers? Holy mackerel, there's a solution. Now, there's a do-it-yourself solution that's just as good as my very expensive solution. So let me show you what I spent all my money on because I didn't want to get a dirty look from my wife. These are called Max Tracks. They're out of Australia. And they'll pull up any kind of vehicle you need. In Australia, people's lives depend on not getting stuck out in the outback. So I went ahead and based on what I read about these things, spent 150 bucks for each board. And then my buddy Dick looked at what I did and he said, I can do that better and cheaper. So let me show you his do-it-yourself solution and I'll, we'll demonstrate getting his vehicle unstuck. So when Dick and I first started going to the beach, he looked at what I spent all that money on and looked at me like I was crazy. And this is why I was. Dick, what'd you do? I bought a two by six, eight foot long, cut it in half, drilled some holes in it, put some bolts in it. Let's, let's show what those bolts look like. Okay, here's the back side. Here's the front side. There's uh, 12 bolts there, and uh, that's it. The whole thing costs under $25. And so let's see if it will get Dick's truck unstuck. Now, one question for you, Dick. Do you, what side do you put the tires on? I, the, I put it on the bolt side up to get more grip. But you've got to be really gentle, I guess. you really gentle. Uh, I've used this, I don't know, five or six times, never ripped up a tire. Uh, no problem. But you used it on other trucks, not your own. I have used it on other trucks. <laughs> uh, the Tacoma never gets stuck. <laughs> One thing about this is once the tire gets above the bolt, this can get slick. So you don't want to spin the tires going off of it. Okay. So we'll dig it in and show you the key thing which is you got to have a gentle ramp. I've seen people try and use these boards and they have them cocked up like that. That's not going to work. It's got to be able to ease out. Here's an example. These boards did not have bolts and wrong angle. Let's get it out. Okay, basically just dig out a little bit of a ramp. And uh, once Dick gets it in there, I'll show you what the angle looks like when he's done. Okay, let me get over here closer. I'll put the other side in. So you can see that that is a very gentle slope. And you can also see why you want to be very, very gentle when you apply power to your tires. Now, if you're worried about those bolts, you can always try it by flipping the other side over first and see if the bolt heads give you enough traction. So that's a way to lower your risk of using these. Very, very gentle. And that is all there is to it. There you go. So don't spend $150 like I did. Just go do the do-it-yourself solution by the practical man of the two of us. You've got a good way to get unstuck. Go ahead and throw it in the comments below. Thanks.